Welcome to the Great Bay Foundation podcast, Social Entrepreneurs. In their own words, Tom Davis is the CEO of the recently merged nonprofit organizations, Sebasta Cook Farms and Skills Incorporated. Davis discusses one of the innovative revenue generating social enterprises his organization launched to help create career paths for individuals with developmental disabilities. Hi, my name is Tom Davis. Uh, I'm the CEO of a company called Skills Inc. We provide supports to people with developmental disabilities. Been doing this on and off for 30 some years now. This is a company that does all the things that uh, old mainline service delivery companies do, but we do something a little different too. We provide a lot of social enterprises for people with disabilities. The first one was a sawmill, which opened in 1980. When I came to Skills about 10 years ago, that mill had been up and running for about 20 years and was reaching the end of its lifespan. And when we considered whether or not to end the, the mill or to rebuild it, it, it posed some interesting questions for us. Probably the most interesting was, do we do it the, the old way, meaning just provide a business that employs people with disabilities or do we try something a little more aggressive? And in doing it, this time we decided to try and do it in a way that generated significant income for the agency. That's when the possibilities of social enterprise really became very clear to me. We've been doing that now for about four years. It's been a very good success so far and we hope to continue with that. And the challenge for us now is to develop new businesses, to do the model, but do it in different ways. At the mill we have 13 guys working and they're all males right now and in the past we had one female but the interesting part of, of the fellows working at the mill is they've been there now on average for 16 and a half years. This isn't a job for them, this has become a career. And what's exciting is to see the new generation coming in behind. Uh, young men and women who are employed in our various social enterprises who wouldn't normally have the opportunity to go to work. Some of them work two hours a day, some four, some eight, uh, every combination you can think of. In total, we employ about 50 people now. But it's very exciting to see young people starting out, realizing that they can not only be employed, but they can actually be employed doing things that they enjoy, making significant money, and looking forward to a career lab. To learn more about the work of the Great Bay Foundation, we invite you to visit our website, www.greatbayfoundation.org.